So let me first invite our first speaker, Robin James Conner, VP Marketing, Jumeirah. Robin, stage is yours. Good morning, everyone. I am super excited to be here. The story consultant, as well as author Robert McKee, says the most powerful way to get ideas into the world is through storytelling. And those ideas don't necessarily need to be tied to brand films or advertising campaigns. They could be sales pitches that you want to get across to general managers. It could be a business case that you want to get across to owners or asset managers. So why is storytelling important to you as a sales tool within the business? Well, first and foremost, storytelling helps establish a connection between yourself and your target audience. According to a study in Stanford, stories are 22 more times memorable than facts alone. So if you want your key message to be remembered, present that message through a story. Stories help build trust, and they also allow you to deliver the opportunity to express your point of difference versus your comp set in a way that you're able to control. And finally, stories allow you to inspire action, whether that action is to encourage a guest to make a reservation, or alternatively, whether that action is to lobby your team to work towards a common goal. Storytelling certainly helps for that. But what is it that makes a great story? First and foremost, and we've heard this very, very often throughout the Rock Conference, you need to understand your target audience. And you need to keep that target audience at the heart of your story at every time. They say that a great storyteller starts with a great story listener. So what you need to do is you need to have a full understanding of your target audience. You need to understand the challenges they're facing, how they're currently feeling, where they want to be, and where, how they feel when they get there. When you have all that information that you know about your audience and you've asked the right questions, you then have the opportunity to build a framework that will form the foundation of your story that will take your target audience through the journey that you're essentially looking for. And you build that fr framework or you build that foundation by asking three questions. The first question is, is what's the audience's problem that they're trying to solve? first and foremost. Secondly, you then talk to, you then consider how you're able to support them and you map out what that looks like. And then thirdly, you have a look at what you want the audience to do afterwards. Once you've pulled that framework together as far as, as the story is concerned, you then need to sparkle a little bit of magic dust on top of it and you really need to make your story pop. And by doing that, you consider three attributes. First and foremost, is your story simple? Is your message simple and is your message clear? You don't want your story going on different alternative side roads. It's got to be succinct. Does your story build intrigue? Is the audience wondering, where the heck is this person going with the story? And are they engaged through the story? And finally, the story needs to be able to build a picture. The guest or the target audience should be able to see how your solution is able to solve their problem, and they should also be able to feel how it is they feel when you're able to do so. Now, the challenge that us as commercial leaders have is we've got so many data points available to us. And when you pull a story together, you've got two questions or two choices. The one is, do you want to tell a story about the data? Or the other is, is do you want to run a parallel story that is going to use the story points to amplify your key data points? And I highly recommend the latter. A brand that does this exceptionally well is UNICEF, as we'll demonstrate through this example. We need sound. For life, for school, with just her school bag on her back, she ran towards the river, but she could hear them all around her. What pain would they deliver? Her heart pounded faster, and she knew she'd have to fight. So she grabbed a ruler from her bag, and she fought with all the might. With her spirit lifted, the first battle had been won, but she could hear the clouds building. The next was still to come. As war went all around her, she knew she'd have to hide. So she took out a book and she got and climbed inside. The words washed over her and on the earth. 
becoming a thick shield that the bullets couldn't penetrate. The ink just wouldn't yield. The path was now clear and her resolve was even stronger. But her journey stretched ahead of her, seeming ever longer. To cross the dark waves of despair, she knew she'd have to fly. So she used what she could find and continued way up high. And as she flew, she looked ahead and could see her journey's end. A glowing room, a brilliant blue, a school she could attain. With her feet back on the soil, the path was open wide. She sprinted to the open door and quickly rushed inside. A chapter completed, her journey now won. But the story isn't over. In fact, it's just begun. So commercial leaders, if stories are the most powerful way to get ideas into the world, when are you going to start leveraging these for your commercial strategies and your commercial initiatives in the business? Thank you.